right, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. This is a uh, part three of riding through rich neighborhoods. I haven't dropped a POV in like a week, y'all. And I ain't gonna lie, car meet's been dead because I went to a car meet like maybe four days ago, three or four days ago, and it already got shut down by the cops. And my getting pulled over right after the meet or like right as they were pulling out the lot and everything like that so i ain't want no parts so it was kind of a bus and that was what i was gonna film for y'all but uh yeah i was like you know what i need to drop something i'm gonna try to find some more meets to go to and shit like that but for now i'll give you all another pov riding through these glorious magnificent neighborhoods I kind of just found this neighborhood, not gonna lie. I'm not really a fan of like brown brick houses, but these are nice. Still million dollar homes. I really didn't even mean to pull into this neighborhood to be honest, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. kind of clean. Damn. Damn. What the f Bro, there was like donut marks in the driveway. Like, you got hella room to spin this bitch. Alright. Let's see if I know where the hell I'm going. Because I really don't right now. Okay, like, for real? Where the fuck am I? backyard trampoline shit i always wanted a backyard like that where it got the little like uh what they call that a gazebo or some shit i think it's what it's called the little cover and you got like a grill in there and you can like sit down and shit hang a tv up okay i know where i'm at i know where i'm at i went this way Ford Fusion ugly as hell though. I ain't never seen a yellow Ford Fusion. Hold on y'all, the wife's calling. The wife. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, making a POV right now. I'm wrong. Uh, no. well. <sighs> All right, y'all. Sorry about that. I had to uh, pause for a moment, handle that, but uh, everything's all good. Anyway, we're going, uh, we're 
gonna get motivated. I'm also here to motivate y'all on this channel. I mean, and motivate myself, shit. All right, we gonna, this is the first stop, and then we gonna whip back around. And these boys got land. This is what I want right here. This is my dream, land. Fucking land. All right. Is this neighborhood really called? Oh, Bristol Park. That's not rich as fuck, too. I thought I said Capital Park. I was like, hold on. What a capital P. All right, we're going to go this way because it's easier for y'all to see through this window. Ugh. Rich Baby Daddy. I don't know the song. Right? I just know that people say Rich Baby Daddy a lot. I was going to sing for y'all, but... I love doing this shit, y'all. Always good to... Even though I know I'm blessed, I really am. And I haven't even made it yet. I'm not no millionaire. I'm not rich. I'm not balling. I swear to God, y'all, I'm not balling. But... Um, Michael and Stare, she water in her grass. That's weird as fuck. But, uh, yeah, y'all. Um, it's always good to, you know, take a step back and, you know, obviously count your blessings, but, you know, it's always good to see where you could fuck. I feel like this wind is fucking up my audio. It's always good to see where you can elevate in life. Like, you know, looking at this shit, these people really elevated. They took it to the next level. Like, this is next level shit. Now, I don't know how happy the homes are inside. My home is pretty happy, I ain't gonna lie. I love my home shit. So this is just for motivation, you know, materialistic wise. But as far as, you know, you never know how happy the homes are inside, but the, the home on the outside look happy as fuck. But yeah, always get to take a step back and um, just like reflect on what you've accomplished, what you haven't accomplished and just keep tackling your dream bro because at the end of the day that's i feel like that's what keeps us fueled and it keeps us you know serving a purpose at the end of the day one thing is like one thing that's one of the most important things to me is is having a purpose bro like without a purpose every day when you wake up your day is kind of shit like it's cooked it's toasted it's roasted like you can have maybe one day out of the week where you're just like, I want to do absolutely nothing. I'm not going to serve any purpose today, but chill out and relax and sit on my ass. Cool. Everyone deserves a day like that if you are working hard enough. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, keep striving to be great. I think life is more fun like that when you're when you're striving to be your best every single day. You know, you can't you can't beat that feeling. Man, I am one broke ass nigga. Like I legit feel broke as fuck. I feel so broke. And you know they own these. They don't rent these houses out, y'all, just so y'all know. Like I've looked already online. Cause I'm like, you know what? I low-key would pay an extra 500 rent just to like live in something like this. Cause you know, it's badass. And you know, I feel like it kind of cranks your gears up to make you work harder and shit. But um, yeah, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy these little videos. I, I feel like they've been doing really well on my channel. And so I try to kind of start like a new trend or like a new like whatever. I don't know. I feel like if somebody bigger than me did this video, like riding through rich neighborhoods or whatever, I feel like it would do well on their channel. So if it's doing well on my channel, I feel like it would do well on somebody else's channel. Beautiful. Beautiful. God. But yeah, y'all. One thing I don't, one thing I won't accept is defeat in life. And another thing I won't accept is being complacent. Now I am content. There's a big difference. I am very content. Contempt, content, I don't know. I don't give a fuck. But with my life. I, I realize how blessed I am and I don't want to be so eager just to get more, 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 I don't fucking need more, more, more. I really don't. I'm really happy with where I'm at. If I died at where I'm at right now, I would be proud of myself. I would. But I couldn't say that a year ago. A year ago, you know, if 
I had died where I was at, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I would have died a very, very, very sad man. I was down. I was down like a motherfucker. But in one year, things can change, y'all. Literally, all it takes is one year, one video, one decision, one, one, one step. Taking that, that one little step, bro. If you want to start something or do something, take one fucking step towards it. Don't just talk about it. Talking is not a step. That's talking. That's moving your mouth, not your feet. Or your actions, whatever. Take a step towards that shit, y'all. If you got a goal in mind, everyone, want, everyone wants to do different shit. Whether you want to go to NBA, NFL, fucking be a, a fucking robot. I mean, or make robots or be an astronaut, whatever. You could do that shit. Literally, you could do this shit. Just find out what it takes to do it and try to get it done. Or try to take the first step to doing it. For sale. Oh, they got a swing set. Oh, my God. I feel like I just went through this neighborhood right here. I did. I did. So I'm not going to go through here. Wait, no, I didn't. Wait, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Well, that was a uh, jolly good neighborhood. Holly jolly. One more stop, and I think I'm 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 out. I think I'm good. Kind of giving y'all the whole blueprint of this area. So we gonna maybe gonna make one more stop in here. These gotta be million dollar homes, I think. I don't know. Cayman Park, Cayman Park Boulevard, Cayman Park Way, Cayman, nice little flag, okay, Texas flag, America flag, putting my hand on this whole like like it's a manual i know it's not a manual but like i have a really bad habit of putting my hand there y'all like i don't know why i just love the grip of it you know i just just want to grip the hell out of this cows cows and ducks what the fuck that's a weird combination cows and ducks We saw what we saw and we seen what we seen. But uh yeah, I already went through this neighborhood. This neighborhood is kinda kinda mid, but actually I'm not gonna say it's mid, what the fuck? <laughs> they still million dollar homes, so they ain't got a million dollars or or a million dollar home. What the fuck? What the hell is the way out? This is one weird ass median. I'm not gonna say he needed to turn his blinker on through the neighborhood just to pull into his driveway, but at the same time, bro, he should have pulled to he should he should he should have turned his blinker on, bro. Oh, that's a fucking cul de sac. I think I 
palm trees in the back. They ain't playing around. The fuck is that squeaky squeaking noise? What the fuck? Stop! The fuck? You hear that? Shut it. Hey. Knock it off. House by the lake. Damn, this goes. Damn, and they got a crane. All right, y'all. I'm like really late to be somewhere right now, and I really got to find a way to get the fuck out of this neighborhood. Oh, that's clean as hell. Oh my God. That yeah, black. No, dead ass, y'all. I really gotta go. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to get the hell out of this neighborhood. I'm not just cruising around right now. Ah, oh, shit. All right. All right, y'all. I'm gonna find a way to get the hell out of this neighborhood, and I'm gonna catch y'all later. Peace, love y'all. Keep grinding. Stay motivated. Stay disciplined. And I'm out. Peace.